Okay, we're going to complete this with a young man that uh, uh, I met this year at, at, at Augusta, played a practice round. Uh, he's from Australia, he won, won the last year's Australian Open with a very, very strong field. Uh, he's, uh, you 20 yet? Uh, just turned 19. You just turned 19? Yeah. Just turned 19. He was 18 when you won, when you, right. yeah, you were 18 when you won the Australian, uh, Australian Open. Beat Greg in a playoff? Uh, I beat him by a shot. Shots. Oh, you beat him by two shots. Oh, excuse me. Well, it wasn't a factor, I understand. But anyway, here's a young man. Now, we just talked about Tiger being number one in the world. This is one of the young men that's going to be chasing him. And, you know, there are people from, the young men from all over the world that are talented. Here's a, here's a, here's a 19 year old man playing in the Memorial Tournament for the first time. Uh, to qualify for the tournament at 19 years old is, is, is unbelievable. But he's out here competing and doing very well. Aaron, uh, you got the driver? I do, yes. Okay. Show us a little bit about that magic swing that's going to take you right up in the golf world. Okay. Well, first of all, I must um, say thanks for having me this week. It's uh, the golf course and the way I've been treated this week is just phenomenal. And to be here for your honorary ceremony over there was just great to see it. And it was just, uh, very much a privilege. So thank you very much. Delightful to, delighted to have you, Aaron. I was very impressed with the compact nature of this young man's swing when I saw him in Augusta. The uncomplicated part of his golf swing. He just takes it back and hits it. He's very long, he's very straight, and obviously at a very young age, very smart. Well, I believe that the, the drivers in a way, a scoring club because if you you got to drive it in the fairway, you got to have an iron to the green. It's very difficult to control your distance um, to to the, to the pin if you're out of the rough. So uh, one one thing I've noticed this this year with Tiger, he's driven a lot straighter, hit a lot more fairways. Therefore, he's able to control his distance with his irons and obviously make more birdies. So um, I'll just hit a few shots, just hit a few draws with the wind here, and just. Um, just really, it's got to release it and just trust that the loft on the, the loft on the club's going to get up in the air. Not very complicated, is it? <laughs> it really isn't. It's just back and through on the same line, very firm, good solid base on the left side. As he hits through it, keeps, him, keeps his body angle in position, and hits it. I find on a day like today that uh, if, uh, when the fairways are a little firm, you like to hit a little low shot, low, low runner, to help um, just to keep it under the breeze so that it doesn't affect the, the ball flight too much. And uh, With this shot, I like to um, set up the, 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 the ball teed down a fraction lower. Just and back in the stance just a little bit, and then what you got to do there, because you've set up to it already to hit it low, you just got to just put your normal golf swing on it, and it should just come out low. He doesn't have much of a future, do you think?